we have a, like a water fight since it's really hot in Thailand and we ha we have all sorts of water like water balloons and water guns and stuff and we kind of just like throw them at each other and shoot water balloons at each other and it's, it's a lot of fun and it really helps us cool off and like the whole day is basically a water balloon fight and everyone gets school off and it's a lot of fun. My favorite tradition from Chinese New Year is eating a meal with my family on Chinese New Year Eve, also known as Chu Xi. And one thing that's special about this meal is that the fish is always served, but we make sure not to finish it, which symbolizes good fortune. Growing up in China, there was always fireworks um, throughout Chinese New Year, and I remember waking up really early and my grandma would give us red envelope or hong bao, and inside there was usually like maybe 10 US dollars or so, but for when we were younger, that was a lot of money. Um, and I remember eating a lot of dumplings. So in my family, we'd often go to these Asian New Year parties and we'd play like Smash there and eat like Chinese food. And it's very Americanized, but I think that the, like, the tradition and the culture is still there, no matter like how far we drift. Uh, I usually go up to LA and Palos Verdes where my dad's parents live and uh, where I have uncle and, uh, uncles and aunts um, and we get a big family get together, um, have a lot of food, uh, have a lot of dumplings, and then they, uh, my grandparents give me and all the younger, my younger cousins, uh, red envelopes. New Year is as a little kid, the little kids will always go up to the adults and wish them Happy New Year, and the adults will give them red envelopes with money, and that was quite exciting. Most vividly remember um, all of our family sitting around the table eating um, dinner together. Um, and we would eat like a lot of traditional Chinese foods like fish or dumplings and um, we would also watch like the Chinese TV program. It's called like the Lunar Festival. Every year I go up to my uh, grandma's house and all of us make tang yuan. For Chinese New Year my parents give me hong bao and we bake dumplings. Uh, for Chinese New Year, my entire family, uh, we all go to my grandma's house and we all just have dinner together. For Chinese New Year, my mom and her other Chinese friends will get together and they'll make a bunch of Chinese food like dumplings, rice cakes, and tang yuan. We go to my grandma's house and we eat dumplings. My family does hong bao, which is red envelope. I get hong bao and my family eats dinner with my grandparents. Theo, what's something about Chinese New Year that you want to share with everybody? My favorite Chinese New Year tradition is that after the Chinese New Year's Eve dinner, all the families go outside onto the streets and light firecrackers with each other. What about you? Something that I think is cool is that the older people, like grandparents, uncles, and parents, give the younger kids hong bao, which are little red envelopes that have money or little toys sometimes inside them. For New Year, me and my family eat a bunch of Chinese food and we watch the Chinese TV. Chinese New Year represents a new beginning for Chinese people and their families, a chance to start over and turn a new leaf. On the night before Chinese New Year, families all get together and they eat a New Year's Eve dinner. One of the main dishes is fish, and there's a Chinese saying that goes, Nian Nian Yo Yu, Nian Nian Yo Yu, and basically that translates to every year you have fish, every year you have prosperity. And so the saying goes that if you don't eat all the fish, if you leave some fish left over, then you're gonna have prosperity, you're gonna have a great year. So basically it's taboo to finish all the fish so you can't be too hungry. Chinese New Year, or the Spring Festival, is a really important time for Chinese families. They all come together, whether that means going back to China or just coming together in general, and have a big dinner, watch a special TV special, or they light bian pao, or firecrackers. Do you celebrate Chinese New Year? I don't. What are some things that you know about Chinese New Year. I know the 12 zodiac animals. Shu, Niu, Hu, Tu, Long, Sha, Ma, Yang, Ho, Ji, Go, Ju. I also know about the story about Nian, the evil beast that would come to like torment people and they'd use loud noises to scare them off. So whenever the New Year comes, they'd use firecrackers to like scare off the old year, I think. What do you think that Chinese people do to celebrate Chinese New Year? I'd assume that they wear new clothes to sort of welcome the new year and that they'd eat dump dumplings and set off fireworks as part of scaring off Nian. We set up decorations such as like the poster with like the Chinese characters on it all around our house. And 
and um, on Chinese New Year, we we gather all of our family members and then we eat dinner together. One of my favorite Chinese holidays is the Lantern Festival, which happens on the 15th night of the first lunar month. And I really like it because they eat such tasty food. For example, Yuan Xiao, which is the little rice balls filled with red bean or sesame paste. And they're just really delicious. Well, at my house, we give friends and family red envelopes with money in them. And um, we decorate our house with little decorations that like help bring in the new year. And we also bring or buy moon cakes. And also, every year, my mom's a part of this club in Jasmine, so we go there each year, and we have we invite friends and family, and we eat there. Um, we set off firecrackers and light sparklers sometimes. And what food do you eat? We eat dumplings. Where is your family from? My mom's side of the family is from Korea. I don't know. How do you celebrate Asian New Year? We celebrate by dressing up in the traditional Korean costume called a hanbok. Then we bow to our elders as a sign of wishing them good luck and good health for the year. And they give us a small gift in return um, to wish us good luck also. And then we also have a soup for breakfast, a traditional soup called duck. And um, it has floating rice cakes in it and it also is meant to wish us good luck. Oh, 
恭喜恭喜恭喜你！冬天已到尽头，春雪好比秋夕，暖暖的春风就要吹去大地。恭喜恭喜恭喜你呀！恭喜恭喜恭喜你！恭喜恭喜恭喜你呀！恭喜恭喜恭喜你！新年快乐，万事如意！新年快乐，新年快乐！祝你新年快乐！我们唱歌，我们跳舞，祝你新年快乐！恭喜发财，心想事成！新年快乐，新年快乐，祝你新年快乐！我们唱歌，我们跳舞。新年快乐，新年快乐，万事如意。快乐，新年快乐，祝你新年快乐。我们唱歌，我们跳舞，祝你新年快乐。新年快乐，心想事成。